My next guest is a Tony and Grammy Award winner you know as Aaron Burr from Hamilton. Please welcome back to the show, Leslie Odom, Jr. That I'm wearing the author's turtleneck. You do. You're 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 here for a book that you've got, and That's you right. do. You you are you are dressing the part right now, the Thank turtleneck, you. and but you've also you've jacked up a bit. You look a little bigger than the last time I saw oh, you. Oh yeah. They, they painted that suit on you. Yeah. Why yeah, are you no. so much bigger? I I well uh, uh I put on like 30 pounds when my wife, you know, th that sympathy weight thing. Oh, because um, you just had the you just had the baby. What's your what's your baby's name? Lucille. Little There's Lucille, Lucille right there. That's wonderful. See, I've tried to, I've tried my best to turn, you know, to turn the the, fl the flab into muscle over, well, over the looks, last couple of months. It looks months. good. Thank looks you, brother. Good. Thank looks you. Good, man. Thank you. I'm sorry. I don't and, mean uh, to be, I don't mean to be too familiar. Oh no, no, but, no it's uh, good. Um, and uh, you know, the book came out today. So uh, with when the book, my my publisher told me when the book was released, you get the author's turtleneck. So. Oh, officially. Yeah. yeah. Officially. We also got you. We also got you. We got you a pipe. Oh. To go with it. <laughs> a pipe. There you go. Uh... Now, uh, now you, uh... <laughs> we can get you something to go no, in there. No, no, if you no, want. go on, no. go on. Now, go on. Uh, the uh, uh, the last time you were here, you showed a little a video of you and your wife singing. She also has a beautiful singing voice. Yes, she does. And do you know, so do you sing to little Lucy every night? Like, do you sing lullabies, or is every night is it just <laughs> nationwide is on? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, I don't really, I don't really sing to Lucy that much. Um, uh, I don't, I don't love singing, you know, uh, when I'm not being paid. Uh, but, <laughs> <laughs> but Nicolette sings to her all the time. <laughs> Nicolette sings to her all the time. I, that's yeah. one of my, yeah, one of my favorite. My wife has, you know, my favorite voice in the world. So when I can walk by Lucy's room and. Hear Nicolette singing to her. It's it's always a treat. That's pretty special. Thank you. Now, uh, okay, so you you, you were uh, you were in Hamilton. Yeah. Uh, you were in Rent. Uh, do you do you insist in being in only shows that will change our culture and Broadway as we know it? Because <laughs> I'd love to know whatever your next project is, so I can try to get tickets now while they're still available. Yeah. <laughs> what what is what is the next thing you're performing? Yes, um, I I do. Yeah, I only do cultural phenomenons. It's just that they're. <laughs> They're 15 or 20 years apart, uh -huh. so I'll let I you know. Yeah, I'll let you know in you know 12 or so years. You know how much how much time there was uh, was there for you between Rent and Hamilton? I, I mean, I was 17 when I did Rent, and I was a little older than that when I did <laughs> Hamilton. Five or six years older. Five or six Hamilton, years yeah. older than that. They're, they don't come around often. No. You know, as you, yeah. The, I mean, th those big sort of landmark shows they don't come around often. I've had the incredible. Fortune, you know, the, the of my life. It's been just really the gift of my life to be a part of um, the two of them. If, if it never happens again, I, I, I'll be a happy guy. It's you know, I'm very lucky. Well, I won't. Uh, <laughs> I want to see you in more. Well, what about? Well, what, what about you know uh, the, the book you've got here? The new book is called Failing Up. And, um, and it's about how to take risks, aim higher, and never stop learning. Now, wait a second. Did you ever stop learning? I mean, were you, were you ever tempted to give up? Because I, when I was younger, I, I was sort of attempting to be a classical actor like yourself. At a certain point, I went, nah, I think I want to do comedy instead, because I wasn't getting hired for that other stuff. Was, yeah. was, was there a moment you went like, I'm just going to stop? Yeah, it, and it, it wasn't too long ago. I was, uh, um, I was about to turn 30. Sort of the central lesson in the book really came from um, a mentor of mine, Stuart K. Robinson. Uh, he's an acting coach, a life coach, really, in L.A. And I met with him before I turned 30, and I was just really tired of that roller coaster, you know. Uh, I wanted to get a check on Thursdays. I wanted to know what the check was going to say. <laughs> you know, I wanted to be able to pay my rent and be an adult. Sure, you know, to get grow married, up. have kids, own yeah, a house, that all that kind of stuff. stuff. Yeah. And, and, I, and I laid it all out for Stuart at, at the Marie Callender's in, in Los Angeles over... <laughs> Sure. Chicken pot pie, and and 
<laughs> and he said he he heard me out and he said, okay, we can talk about that. We can talk about um, you know career transitioning if that's what you would like to do. But I'd love to see you try first. Wait. I'd love to see you try before you quit. But where had you already been a working actor for a decade? Um, but he, but what, what he pointed out to me, I asked him to please go on, sir. And, and he said, well, I think what you're doing is you're sitting at home and you're waiting for the phone to ring. I think, you know, when the phone rings, you show up and you're prepared and you're affable and sometimes that can get you a gig. But what did you do today in the absence of a ringing phone? Did you call anybody? Did you write anything? Did you read anything? Did you practice? Did you take a class? Did you, you know, he, I wasn't singing at all back then. He said, you know, you can call every coffee shop in LA would love to have you singing their lunch time, you know, at that lunch hour, you know, bring a band, go sing at a coffee shop. I just, it, it, it made me proactive. It put me back in the driver's seat of my own life. And so it, you went and did those things? I did all those things. I did all of those things. And it changed my life. So I've, I've, I'll never be sitting inactive on my couch ever again. Uh, you know, <laughs> that's a hard lesson to learn. Yeah. Well, it was great to see you oh, again. Thanks see for you. being here. Man. <laughs> Failing Up by Leslie Odom Jr. is on sale now. Read it. We'll be right back with comedian Tom Segura. Stick around.